What? What the hell is this? I'm glad you asked. With the animation industry being dominated by the likes of Disney, Pixar, DreamWorks, Sony, and Warner Brothers, it would be easy to overlook some of the smaller studios, especially those that still specialize in 2D animated features. The studio in particular that I wanted to bring up is Cartoon Saloon. You may have heard of them if you have a keen interest in animation, but for those of you who don't know, allow me to educate you. Cartoon Saloon is an animation studio based in Kilkenny, Ireland, founded by Bally Fermont College alumni Tom Moore, Paul Young, and Nora Toomey in 1999. In their early years, Cartoon Saloon would pump out commercials, short films, and TV shows, most of which would be nominated for awards. It would be about a decade later until they finally released their first feature-length film, The Secret of Kells. Which leads me to what I mainly wanted to talk about, their films. I wasn't aware of Cartoon Saloon until my second or third year of high school. That's when my art teacher decided to show the class The Secret of Kells for our brief character design unit. Being a teenager, I was like... What the heck is this? I wanna watch this. This is for babies. But it would quickly win me over. The character designs are charming, the animation is smooth as butter, and the environmental art was something I had yet seen before. All in all, I ended up enjoying the film a lot, and became a fan of Cartoon Saloon, although The Secret of Kells isn't all they have to offer. As of 2021, Cartoon Saloon has released four films, The Secret of Kells, Song of the Sea, The Breadwinner, and Wolfwalkers. All of them have received an Oscar nomination for Best Animated Feature, not that it really matters since they usually give that to Disney or Pixar. But nonetheless, well-deserved achievements. My personal favorite as of now is Wolfwalkers. I won't go into much detail about these films because I want everyone who hasn't seen them to give them a shot, especially if you love animation. Yes, they are typically made for a younger crowd, but the audience is regarded with respect and aren't treated like idiots when compared to some other animated films. Their stories are honestly not that groundbreaking, yet they are heartwarming and filled with emotion. Each film gives their characters mature themes and serious topics to deal with in a manner that children can understand and adults can find depth in. Cartoon Saloon has a tendency to incorporate Irish folklore in most of their films, minus The Breadwinner, which has given them their own identity since it's something that we don't see too often. It's similar to how Studio Ghibli uses Japanese folklore in some of their films, and if I'm being honest, I'm pretty much a sucker for animated films that use folklore. It adds another layer to the settings of the films and makes you a little more curious about them. I also get a sense of patriotism with how they integrate different time periods and myths of Ireland into their stories. You can tell that the people making these films love exploring the history and legends of their country, but in a way that isn't aggressively in your face. Each film is a love letter to Ireland in its own way. The art in their films is fantastic as well. The designs for their environments and characters use shapes in very creative ways that make their films stand out from most other productions. Also, if it wasn't obvious, Cartoon Saloon is one of the few western studios that still produces feature-length hand-drawn animation, which is refreshing in an industry that's dominated by CGI. Although, they don't feel like they were hand-drawn for the sake of being hand-drawn. These films are purposely hand-drawn because they are meant to be hand-drawn. At least, that's how I feel. I'm convinced that they wouldn't be as impactful if they were producing CG. The way they present their films bears resemblance to old Celtic tapestry art, which is neat. It's a unique way to tell these stories and makes them feel more mystical. Even The Breadwinner, the film most different from the others, still has captivating scenery, exceptional animation techniques, and dynamic camera work. With the release of Wolfwalkers last year, it seems as if Cartoon Saloon has been getting a little more recognition. I actually had some hope that they'd win the Oscar for Best Animated Feature, but it ultimately lost a soul, which I was okay with. Despite the Academy's bias. Hopefully as their spotlight grows brighter, more people will decide to check them out. I do think they deserve more attention with the amount of effort and passion they put into all their work. So stop sleeping on Cartoon Saloon! You might end up liking what you see. H hey, wh wh where are you going? Oh, uh, I don't know. There's something else, I guess. Well, are you gonna check out the movies at least? Maybe. Stop struggling! Stop struggling! It's really easy! If you just stop struggling, these are good guys! They're good for you! Just stop struggling!